In a recent post by Andy NGO goes into a discussion about a National Education Association Board of Directors member and teacher at Pennsylvania High School. And this she's, she's at uh, General McLean. Wrote that unvaccinated individuals with religious exemption deserve to die. And this is from a Molly Mumau said that they should die by gunfire. And of course, the, some, they had posted it in full right here. And it just was on Facebook. It says, Pennsylvania teacher writes on Facebook that people who have religious exemptions should die from the virus. Oh, excuse me. Should die from the virus or be shot. I said, screw this guy. And screw them all who are about hiding behind a religious exemption because they don't want anybody to tell them what to do. People tell you what to do all the time and you do it. This is such bullshit. He and his ilk deserve whatever comes their way, including losing jobs, getting sick, and perhaps dying from the virus. But in the meantime, he's going to put all people around him in danger? I don't know why the GOP doesn't take those guns that they pro that they profess to love so much and just start shooting all of their constituents who think this is the way. It would be quicker and ultimately safer than putting me and my friends and family at risk. And this is a teacher. These are the people that teach your kids in the, the public indoctrination camps that they threatened that if your kids don't get vaccinated, that they're gonna you're not gonna be able to go to school. And and just be like, that's why I'm like, shit, no problem. Cause this is what who you got. This is who you got teaching your kids. And this is probably a light version. This is this is how she feels on Facebook. So you can imagine what she says in private. That obviously impacts the way that she that the way that she teaches her kids. Your kids, for that matter. And of course this is in this is in Pennsylvania. And democratic cities and this is what you get this is what you get these are the people that vote for you to lose your freedoms these are the people who vote for your enslavement and that's why i say fuck them these people do you, do you think there's do you think you're going to reason with this lady do you think you're going to show her the science do you think you're going to show her articles that prove to the contrary of course not these people are morons, and they deserve everything that happens to them. And this is why you have to protect yourself, and this is exactly why you have to get with like-minded individuals. Because these people, these people vote. These people vote for your slavery. These people vote to have your Second Amendment and your First Amendment and whatever other uh, rights that you have, they vote for them to be removed. They applaud the government when the government you know the jim kramer that came on tv the other day that was like we need to get the military involved and start force vaccinating you don't think she was all for that you don't think people like this are all for that but this is where we are and it's not going to go away and once people realize that this is what you're dealing with then you just have to treat them accordingly and this is why i say Pull your kids out of school. Homeschool them. Do the you know that that's literally the best thing that you can do for them. Take the time to know what your kids are being taught, what your kids are being filled with day by day. You don't think her thoughts and her ideologies get passed on to the kids that she teaches? You don't think that this topic comes up in school about vaccination or gun control? Etc. Healthcare is a right, education is a right, etc. But this is where we're at. And this and these people openly tell you who they are. And I just say thank you. I appreciate that. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there and I'll catch you next time.